Good morning, teachers. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to chapel. It's good to have you today. It's good to be together and to, to talk a little bit, to talk a little bit about God, about Jesus, about their love for us. Matter of fact, you can kind of guess we're going to talk about love today. Did you see the decorations? Even I'm a little bit decorated, aren't I? What might I be decorated for? What might these be about? That? You're right. Of course, Valentine's Day. We're real close to celebrating Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day, we often associate with hearts and love, candy. Some of my favorites, I saw them in the store the other day, the conversation hearts. Some people complain they taste like chalk. I like them. Valentine's Day. Oh, we give Valentines and call people our Valentines. Talk a lot about love. Last time we were together in chapel, we talked about hearts. Do you remember? We had the first aid kits, but then we had the AED. And we talked about how it helps to get the rhythm of someone's heart back to how it should be beating. And we read a Bible verse and we, we talked about how God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Sometimes at Valentine's Day, there's some folks who talk more about broken hearts than about giving their heart. Sometimes at Valentine's Day, there's people who were talking more about how they were in love and it hurt. Some even quote a line from an old song that your parents or your grandparents know. Love stinks. But see, that's not the kind of love we're talking about today. We're not talking about Valentine's love or romantic love or mushy mushy kissy kissy huggy huggy love we're talking about the love that god has a pure and perfect love the love that we talked about and we've talked about more than once when we talk about that verse from the new testament from the book of john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only son. That's why Jesus came, because God loved the world. Now, some people say, how can God love the world? How can God, who's so perfect and holy, love the world that's so full of meanness and hatred and ugliness towards one another? Well, the answer is, pretty easy once you know it. We find the answer in this book. Can you guess what book it is? Yeah, it's my Bible. That's where we find the answer to that question, how could God so love the world? We find it in the New Testament, not in the book of John, but in the book of 1 John. Now that's a little confusing. Because there's John, and there's 1 John, and 2 John, and 3 John. And the first John we talk about isn't 1 John. It's the Gospel of John. But in 1 John, chapter 4, we read this. God is love. God is love. How can God so love the world because he is love. The very nature of God, his character. How do you identify him? God is love. And because he's love, he loves us. And because he loves us, you know what he wants us to do? He wants us to love each other. He wants us to love the way He does. 
He even wants us to love maybe people who aren't so lovable. Maybe people who are a little bit nasty or mean or maybe just grumpy. We just don't get along with them. But God wants us to love just like He does. He wants love to be part of our character. He wants love to be how people would describe you and hopefully me. I want to read you that God is love verse in context. That means in the area where we find it, the things around it. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, now God is love, is in verse 8, but we start with verse 7 because it says, as I read from my New International Version, which is typically what I use, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. That's right. God is love. Because he's love, he wants us to love one another. That's a great Valentine's message. That's a lot better than boyfriend, girlfriend, mushy, mushy, huggy, huggy, kissy, kissy love, isn't it? That's even better than conversation hearts or, I know this is going to surprise maybe some of your teachers, it's even better than a box of chocolates. God is now, some of you, I know, know that as a song. It's from a little different translation in the Bible, from the King James translation. And you've sung it, and maybe some of your teachers are singing it, and maybe you'll even sing it together today. It says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not, Knoweth not God, for God is love. That's a pretty good love song to sing, isn't it? You know what we're going to do together? <laughs> we're going to pray. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our friend Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Help me to love others. For God is love. Amen. Great day. Happy Valentine's, boys and girls.